You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you guys. So over the past week or so, you know that I have been doing a series called Romance in the Rockies. It is a book by Lane Blondin, I believe. And I have now read the third book. It is called A Promise Made in Defiance. Or is it, I think it's Promise Made in Defiance without the A. Um, it has 44 chapters and 308 pages, you guys. So this was not a long book however I think I got the uh, the books as a set so um, it's kind of three ebooks in one so it, I couldn't tell with the ebook how many pages there was but here's what this one is about um, when Charles McIntyre found a defiance he was happy to rule in hell rather than serve in heaven um, that changes, Let's see, but things have changed. Now he has Faith, a new wife, and a ten-year-old half-breed son. Logan Tillen carries a Bible in his head, hand, wears a gun on his hip, and fights for lost souls any way he can. Newly arrived in defiance, though, he has trouble telling saints from sinners. When scandalous Madame Delilah Goodnight flings open the doors to the raunchy Crystal Chandelier Saloon, these two good men will come face to face with their own personal demons. A Promise and Defiance is an old-fashioned western reminiscent of Clint Eastwood's Unforgiven and Paul Ryder gritty and rich with drama. This is the closing chapter to the best-selling Wild West saga of love and faith in a godless frontier town. So that is what that one is about. Um, as you guys know, I was a little bit um, off put, like at the at the middle of the first book. Not sure if I wanted to continue, but I thought I would just so I could have um, say that I could that I had read it. Um, but this um, this book was a good read. Um, would the book reviewer recommend this? Yes. Um, if you want, well, it's not necessarily very clean, but, and there are some, some suggestive situations. Um, they don't come right out and say that this happened. It's kind of assumed. Um, but this is 308 pages, like it says, of drama, and it's interesting how some of these stories intermingle. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, in most books, they have um, a main character, and then they have two, like, um, I want to say sub-characters, but that's not it. Um, uh kind of like a sidekick or um, some other um, people that are important to the story um, that they tell their story as well and this is done really really well um, I think if you're going for a western romance kind of Christian type um, book that this would be the book for you um, I enjoyed reading it, and this is the last book in the series, so the next video or two, I can't, I can't tell you which one, will be a book review of the whole series, and I'll tell you what I think, and um, that will be that. Um, I will put an uh, Amazon link to where you can find it. Um, it does have an, a Kindle edition, you guys. So, um, this was a good book. It's about, um, like what I said in the 
summary about um, people facing their demons, people facing things that they've always had a hard time resisting and and things like that. And um, it was really good to book the way it turned out. And I'm not going to give away the ending. You guys will have to go and read it for yourself. Um, let me know. Have you read this book? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like um, the author that wrote this book? I can't think of her name at the moment. Um, but I'll probably put it in the title. Um, let me know down in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye.